I'm Rashard Davis. Um, and I basically I grew up going to Abundant Life, and tutored in Abundant Life. Um, it really steered me through, you know, what I'm saying obstacles that I faced and just uh, put me in the right direction. Um, I just remember way back when we used to go to Chris Green Lake and just uh, <laughs> have uh, like basically family picnics and different laughs and stuff. I got tutored by Taylor Green, uh, fifth through eighth grade. Um, in the midst of that, you know, other than him showing me how to do the schoolwork and uh, helping me on different ho homeworks and things of that nature, <clears throat> he also uh, took me and my friends out to bowling, um, out for movies over his house, um, just just creating that relationship and that bond and really helped out. Um, seeing him graduate from college, I was out there sweating in the hot sun, but uh, it made it worthwhile, you know, seeing how how happy and uh, um, excited he was in that moment. And I knew that's something that I wanted to accomplish in my lifetime. So it made it easier going through college and making that happen. Surprise. Oh, you might be creeping up on you like that over there. Oh, yeah. Over there. <laughs> Jeez. Over I like. Jeez. No, I just can't get over, I can't get over the little. So small, right? Yeah. <laughs> You were so little, oh my goodness. Time and you were just like doing flips down the hill. <laughs> yeah, back Do you still do a little gymnastics? I can gymnastics? still do back there. Yeah. A front flip. So in a little while, we got to ask Mr. Richard if he'll do that for us right now. Yeah. I think one thing I definitely learned was just like, uh, now that I look back, you know, when I was younger, I didn't really. He would tutor me. I was like, man, Tim, I don't want to do this stuff. <laughs> but then, like, looking back, like when I got to college and stuff, I'm like, he didn't have to be there helping me, like, he took the time out of his day to help me, so that really stuck with me. Last weekend, I went and spoke to kids at a youth camp just to give them inspiration, give them motivation, even though I wasn't getting paid for nothing, I wasn't getting anything out of it. It's just helping them out, because when I was younger, you know, you came and talked. A big part of it is um, just the reward of seeing the Lord's faithfulness. Um, not to jump in and get super spiritual, but... Um, it's just such a uh, tangible reminder of you really have no idea. Um, you know, even in the seemingly simplest, uh, most innocent relationships, um, you really don't know the impact. And I don't just mean me on Richard, you know, I mean the other way too. And, and the fact that his family, um, you know, would take the time to reach out to us and, you know, comment on the or when we got married and the birth of our daughters and um, you know that just says so much to me. It's like a lot of kids they just want to play football they don't really want to take school as serious as they do football but it has to be taken more serious. I, I let them know about you know the success on the football field and all that stuff uh, but I really harp on like the classroom. My future in the long run is to open up a big gym, private gym here for kids that's trying to really specialize in Whatever it is, gymnastics, anything. It's like, if I can give anything back to Charlottesville, I definitely want to.